now to the weather. Matt, a big holiday weekend. We're hoping to squeeze in a little good weather. Yes, it's a huge holiday weekend. It's the unofficial end to summer. We always want to talk about nice weather when we have these long extended weekends and we are going to squeeze in some good days. It's just going to come towards the end of our holiday weekend, probably the end of Sunday and into Monday. Now our eyewitness weather watchers are telling us about cool temperatures to start out the holiday weekend on this Saturday morning. We're looking at temperatures that are in the 40s and 50s across lots of the area. So here is our list of temperatures this morning. 51 degrees for John in Tabernacle this morning. Ed in Chesterfield, he's also saying it's 51. But check this out, 49 in Chalfont, Marty's backyard saying it's 49 degrees, 47. If you're up in Percocy with John this morning, 57 for Dolores in Newark, Lawrenceville, New Jersey, Peter's house. He's coming in at 55 to start the day out and Westchester. Steve saying he's saying 55 degrees here early on in the day and lots of wonderful pictures that our eyewitness weather watchers are sending in of a wonderful sunrise this morning. Lots of reds and pinks and a little bit of blue still out there as well. We're waiting for the cloud cover to really thicken up, but we are seeing some start to the day. That is very nice. Jenny sending us this great red scene here on our Saturday morning outside right now here in Philly. It's not too bad looking either. This is a live picture from Skycam 3. We're looking at the Art Museum, of course, and this is where Made in America is going to be later today and tomorrow. Unfortunately, our weather for today, not going to be the greatest for Made in America, but this is still a wonderful scene here early on in the day with a few clouds out there. The Art Museum looking fantastic. Storm Scan 3 showing you the precipitation starting to slowly work its way into the area. Down in the central and southern Delaware, we're seeing some showers, maybe even a few areas of more moderate rainfall just south of Dover. We're getting a little bit of orange and yellow to show up there on the radar, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Baltimore, D.C. getting the brunt of the action right now. That area of moisture is going to be trapped traveling to the north and east, moving into northern Delaware, and then eventually here in Philly and along the shore points as we get probably into the mid morning hours and then overtaking much of the region as we go through the afternoon and lasting well into the overnight as well. Now this is all associated what is, with what is left of Hurricane Harvey. The center of circulation, if we want to call it that, is now in northern Kentucky, parts of southern Ohio. That's where the center of this is, but all that precipitation, this area that is going to be affecting us is extending well off to the east. It's actually Actually more of a warm front at this point than even maybe an outer band of precipitation. So we could actually see some warmer temperatures then take over as we get into Sunday as well. So this is what we're looking at impact wise showers taking over today. The heaviest rain is going to come through the overnight hours tonight, lingering into Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening will start to clear things out. That's some good news for us leading into a very nice Monday and amounts with this are going to be upwards of by about an inch or so. Those higher amounts again around an inch are going to be down at the shore and maybe Maybe a few points up towards the Poconos. The rest of us widespread chances for about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. Hurricane Irma spiraling out in the open Atlantic Ocean at this point. It's a category two storm could be increasing to three and maybe even category four strength. By the time we get into the middle and end of this coming work week, we're going to keep an eye on it. Now this is just a forecast till Thursday. Don't know how it's going to be affecting the continental United States, if it's going to be affecting the continental United States. But again, we do want to keep an eye on it and we're going to be seeing it strengthen through the next couple of days. Our eyewitness weather forecast 67 today, 79 tomorrow, 83 Jan on Monday with sunshine looking good there. And our next chance for showers comes towards the end of next week. All right.